I use chicken breast for the stew, but you may use any meat of your choice. I blended onions, garlic, and pepper and salted it before adding the chicken breast I cut in cubes. When the chicken was done, I added the tomato paste and the fresh tomatoes that I cooked separately. You may add the fresh tomatoes directly too, if you wish. The reason I cook the tomatoes separately is to reduce my time in cooking the stew. I sometimes cook the tomatoes a day before making stew. Continue co cooking in low fire until well done and stir occasionally to avoid burning. Add salt and black pepper. Now it's done, so it's time to make jollof rice. The first thing to do is to rinse the rice and drain the water well. Add a little water to the stew so that the rice cooks well. And then add the rice to the stew. After that, stir and make sure the stew is distributed evenly. Don't worry about the water, the rice will soon absorb it. It looks watery but after some time the water the water will be absorbed so don't worry about that one. As you can see now the water had been absorbed already. So please keep uh, stirring occasionally so it won't burn at the bottom. And, and also so it will cook evenly. By the way, I covered the pot with foil or tight lid so that the heat would be trapped inside and the rice cooks faster and evenly. <coughs> When it's almost done, you may add carrots or peas or any vegetables of your choice. So I cook chicken, peas, and carrots separately. I wish I had some bell pepper too, but unfortunately I don't. I use frozen vegetables because I don't have fresh ones. I now added the vegetables and chicken to the rice that is almost done. As you can see, I like this. I added chicken to the stew but still, I want to add more. And now the jollof rice is done and re ready to be eaten. Look at it. Thank you for watching. Try to make yours and tell me how it tastes. Like mine tastes great according to myself. 